what's happening guys it's friday morning about 6:50. i'm on the road i have the weekend off i haven't had a friday and saturday off for a long time really looking forward to it headed to kevin's we're meeting up at his place because it's closer to pittsburgh and then making the drive to pittsburgh to uh, compton's big game classic so it's gonna be a fun little traditional archery weekend we're on the street is we've got two new bows waiting for us, so it'll be a new bow weekend, which I'm really looking forward to. What's up, guys? We are at Compton. Coming straight out of Compton. stranger. Chet, all the way from Montana. Montana. I'm all the way from Dubois, Pennsylvania. You got Finney, Mark, myself, my dad, and Mr. John Wirt is in the area we are. So we're in a little room where we're going to be doing some shooting. And then we got a lot more to show you as the weekend goes on. It's going to be fun. We're excited to be here and spend some quality time shooting bows and mingling with everybody that comes to Compton. No, these will be sweet. Just eight. This is my son, Finn. He's a good man. So the Film Festival Award, uh, man, we just saw a ton of great stuff on the internet, saw people doing some really neat things uh, with taking their videos. I know myself, I used to watch some of these hunting programs, but um, they just turned off there for me. They weren't anything I was interested in watching. Then I saw some of these guys out there, like Trad Geeks and, and some different folks doing some videos, and we were impressed with it, and we wanted to be a part of it. And so I was actually having a conversation with guys from Trad Geeks, and um, they gave this idea to, to come up. They thought it'd be a good venue. I thought it was a, a perfect venue for it. So we went and um, uh, built a website page and sent out some emails and a bunch of people sent their, their videos in. And what we did was we took and picked the top four. So all the video, videos you'll be watching tonight are the top four videos. Um, these folks are amateur, well, I mean, they're pros, but they're not, they, they're not doing this for a living, right? This is something that, they're just bow hunters out there doing their thing. Okay, so our third one, if I could get uh, a couple of the uh, guys to come up here from Trad Geeks who um, put this together for us. I'm going to let them introduce it. It's pretty nice to have, you know, the folks here that actually made the movies and did the whole deal uh, to take the time to make the movie and then to come out here and support Compton. And so... Um, just want to say thank you very much. Um, Kevin Merrow is uh, standing over here on your right. Um, Mark Kephart standing right here. I'm going to let these guys uh, talk. They brought, uh, Kevin brought his dad Tim with him and his son Finn with him. So if you see uh, Finn running around, uh, say hi. But why don't you guys just set this next one up for us if you will. Awesome. So Utah, we're from Pennsylvania. And uh, one of the neat things I think that's kind of neat is the contrast between how we ended up going on this hunt and the way that we like to hunt. So everybody in this room, we love to hunt with our traditional archery travels. Um, but we met Matt Davis through social networking, through the internet, through technology. Um, so it's for us, it's a really cool contrast that yes, within this modern era that we live, we have such a cool, unique perspective on how we love to hunt. And with every podcast that we do, with every photograph that we take, with every film like this that we share, we think it's a great opportunity to expose that lifestyle, the things that we're passionate about um, to kind of everyone. So I guess that's kind of all that I have to say about that. I just want to thank Compton for putting on the Trad Film Fest here. I think it's a great, great event to host this, and uh, we're we're glad to be a part of Compton. Um, Mark's a very humble guy. If it wasn't for Mark, this film wouldn't have been done. 
I had the trip planned. I was going to go, and Mark said, I want to go and just film it. That's all I want to do. He did everything with this film, editing, music. Mark wrote all the music for this film. He put all the time in. I just got a hunt. So I did the fun part, and that's what he enjoys to do as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, we're at day two, straight out of Compton. And we're going to stop by some vendor booths and talk to people. And we're going to stop by the RER booth because it's close to Finn. The Chester, you all know Chester. Tell us a little bit about what you got going on here at Compton. Well, we got a bow for you guys. Oh, that's pretty. Made out of Buckeye Burl G10. One piece longbow. It's actually this man's right here. Lucky guy. He, he got that for me for my birthday, so it's going to be a surprise. I don't think it'll work, but. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, just flew from Montana, brought a few bows. Happy to show my face on the East Coast. Sweet. We talk about RER bows a lot, so we'll just leave her at that. This little retro is super cool. If you guys haven't looked up the retro, I suggest you do. 50s style recurve, static tip limbs. Very cool one piece recurve. Sweet. We're at Jeff's booth here. Jeff, tell us a little bit about what you have here at uh, Compton. These are alpaca socks. Alpaca is warmer than wool. It's a semi-hollow fiber. But what it does best is it wicks moisture. Nine times out of ten, when your feet get cold, it's because of sweat. And when you're wet, you lose heat 200 times faster. And that's the big advantage to alpaca. These go all the way up to your knee. They have a band around the ankle that keeps them from sliding down. These are new. These are the outdoorsman sock. They're a three-quarter calf sock. They're 20% heavier. And then we have like the regular cruise sock for every day. Nice. I know. I always have a problem. My feet always get cold. I never find a solution. Would this, would this help tremendously? Yeah, the socks work so good, I guarantee. Really? Awesome. Cool. Where can, keep, where can people find you? Um, I have a business card and a brochure with my phone number. Awesome. What's your phone number? 724-683-7054. Awesome, man. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Check you out. I was swimming. It's 80 degrees. I see this one yeah. <laughs> this thing. This is some cool stuff, man. Right now. I'll put it on the back of the catalog. We're with Teresa with Three Rivers Archery here at Compton. Teresa, tell us a little bit about what you have here at Compton. So we have a, just a little a few things on display. Probably the most popular is the ad ladle we have here, so that's getting a lot of attention. It's a must-have, I think, for everybody in their backyard. A little bit of fun. That is cool. I didn't even so see that's, that. Yeah, that's probably the most popular thing. So then we have some tomahawk bows, dust bows, some leather goods here, our new leather goods. Yes. Sweet. Yeah, so Three Rivers is pretty much a one-stop shop for everything for Trad, right? I mean, you guys sell pretty much everything. Absolutely. Good deal. On this, I need to roll that. Do you want a bag for all that? <laughs> you guys having a good time? Oh, yeah. 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 I needed some food. Thank you. Right. You can set them up higher. They're more comfortable that way. Because the better comfort. Like sometimes I forget I got it. So yeah. I mean, they're a little bit more comfortable. Maybe just single sticks. I have some. Thing is, these risers, you know Tony, 
So we are going to have a shoot off here. The Stone Point. I bump my ISO up here. The Stone Point sticker. We're going to be aiming right in the middle of it. We should probably just try to shoot the O in stone. Yeah. We're that good. No. <laughs> we'll be able to reuse the sticker, which is great. But we're aiming for the O. Whoever gets closest to the O wins. I'll use counting the draw. So Chester is going to be using Kevin's bow. Kevin doesn't know about this. Don't tell him. And I'll be using my bow. Little CLX, 60 inches, 54 at 28. Round one. Ooh. <laughs> no, it looks better than it actually It, it looked is. better, but there we go. Shot number one. <laughs> but here's my first shot. Okay, so the winner gets to take Kevin's bow home. Okay, I'm in. But, so... I'm a little closer than Chester there. Yeah. I got lucky. I was also at three yards when I shot that shot, but don't tell him that. We're trying to get it between the antlers here. No, I thought we were hitting the O oh, in stone. One for the O? Yeah, the O in stone. Is that why you missed so bad? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Do you want to start over? Uh, I don't care. All right, let's just shoot these last two arrows. Those first two are warm-up shots. Yeah. Unless that's the best shot that I take, then that was my go-to. I was that was my shot. <laughs> Man, that's... shot number dose. Yeah, we're taking it all. Don't you tell them either. There's my arrow number two. Still closer. Still closer. One arrow at a time. Right, so, right. we're restarting the challenge because Chester shot so horribly. And I shot so horribly. So, one arrow. I'm going to walk up to the target because this is the official shoot off. For Kevin's bow. Whoever gets closest gets to take Kevin's bow home. We are aiming for in, in the middle of the antlers. All right, shot number one for Kevin. Close. Close. It's a nice little shot there. Oh. Up number two. Oops, stand back. He's getting serious. He flipped his name tag around. Woo! I got one beat. All right. This tab is the bomb. It's so much better. I know. Give that me that tab. tab. So much cleaner. I don't want to shoot that, but I'll tell you. I the target. See that lamp behind it? <laughs> do, you, do you think I'll hit the lamp behind the target? Yes. Really? You're creeping, Mark. You're creeping. <laughs> I don't know. I think Mark beat me. He snuck one in there. Uh, no, he didn't. Ah, oh, Daddy wins. This is Mark's arrow. Yep. Kenny, I'm Kevin. Talk a little bit about Compton and the Big Game Classic and then your booth a little bit. Well, we've got our merchandise booth uh, set up here. We've got Bear Archery, was great for us this year. They let us use this uh, old school, traditional bow, uh, logo, which I think is pretty cool. So we appreciate that. They're a big sponsor of ours. We've got some leather gear out and uh, some pretty nice uh, leather patch hats. It's been going great. Lots of great people. 
lots of cool little track geeks around. <laughs> yeah. Has a great organization. You even have uh, armed guards, which are really cool. And yep, armed stuff guards. Like that. Quivers from uh, Traditions Leathercraft put these together for us. And patrol cats, patrol caps, and watch. And we got it all in there. Nice. Yeah. And we appreciate you guys being here. Absolutely. You know, it made a big difference for us, so thanks a lot. Good deal. If anybody wants to find out more about Compton uh, and what you guys are about, what, where should they look and, and stuff like that? You can find anything you want to find at ComptonTraditionalBowHunters.com. You can join up there. We put out a magazine four times a year. Um, you can buy any of this merchandise there. Um, you can find out about our youth program, archives program. Uh, traditional bow hunting uh, history and, uh, and where we're heading in the future. So it's all right there. Awesome stuff. The archives is really cool to me. Uh, a lot of people probably won't understand it, but to me it, it, it's representing the traditional bow and how I think it can actually be you guys starting that archives. Pretty neat. Uh, and then obviously the youth and the scholarship for the young people. Yeah, the archive is overlooked because uh, we have set it up so that we've got our own system of measuring traditional kills. So no, nobody else is doing it like we're doing it. We wanted to just set up some sort of system where you could find out. You'll have to cut all that. That's all right. Yeah, that's all good. I tell you what, you need to do is ask Dave Couch or this. <laughs> that's why you lost it because he comes in. I don't know. What I'm talking about. But yeah, the archive system is a, is a big deal for us, and it's growing, and people, the work's starting to get out, and uh, it's starting to take off. Good deal. Uh, Very cool. Well, thanks, Kevin. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, guys, we're with Mark from Big Whiskey Outfitters. He's going to talk a little bit about his outfitting company and what they do. Hey, good day. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so we're uh, an outfitter from Alberta, Canada, uh, located uh, kind of mid-central Alberta, west of uh, the West Country in the uh, lower foothills. And uh, we feature elk, mule deer, and whitetail bucks. And uh, we really cater to, as much as we can, to the traditional archer. Um, my brother and I are both traditional archers. I've hunted uh, all over Alberta. So we're a new company. We've been uh, around for just a couple of years. And uh, thought we'd come down and take advantage of it, come down and see the cool folks here in, in Compton, uh, traditional bow hunters. So, um, yeah, we have uh, enjoy what we do. We do a lot of horseback. We do a little bit of uh, canoe ventures. And uh, pretty rustic camps. we got anything from wall tents with wood stoves to TV camps and that sort of thing. So, yeah, we like to do it old style. So. Very cool. That's a little bit about us. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Cool. All right, guys, we're with John from Lancaster. <laughs> Archery. We learned how to pronounce that properly last night. We're going to talk a little bit about what he does. Yeah, so one thing I often have to do when I'm out on the road is teach people how to pronounce Lancaster. <laughs> L-A-N-G, we, we had a refresher course last night with the Western Pennsylvania crowd. L-A-N-G-K-I-S-S-T-E-R, Lancaster, and you say it real fast, Lancaster. Sweet. So that's the correct pronunciation. Um, even people from Pennsylvania don't get that right. So, um, uh, Compton Traditional Archers. One of the biggest, most prolific uh, traditional archery organizations in the United States. Uh, they do a great job of promoting, protecting the sport of uh, bow hunting um, from the traditional archer's perspective. Really a lot of cool people here. Jack Ballou, you know, is a big part of the organization. Knife makers, bow builders, um, and just being in this group of people, it's wonderful. You know, I see a lot of these people at other events, Denton Hill, all the, all the traditional things that we do. So being here, sharing some of our new products with them, just being a part of the event, and you know, we we shared some products that we can uh, give. They're going to give away tonight. So supporting this organization that gives back to bow hunters, and um, you know. Last night, sitting at dinner, telling the hunting stories with everybody. Camaraderie. Camaraderie. And as you know, if you're paying, watching this uh, podcast and uh, this, uh, the Trad Geeks uh, channel, is there was a cool film festival. It was small, um, but it's the first time I've ever seen a traditional archery film festival. 
and um, the um, yeah, I don't, I don't get around like I used to. there were four finalists, and the Trad Geeks film uh, that I heard Mark did most of the production. Mark did most of it on this one. Usually I help out a little bit, but this one. I was hunting. And he was hunting, and with with a good mutual friend of ours, uh, Matt Davis from Utah. And after um, uh, watching the video, I realized I knew exactly where you guys were hunting. And frankly, I think Matt stole my hunting spot. And Matt, if you're hearing this, it's kind of my hunting spot. So I don't know who took you in there, but we need to talk about it. So. <laughs> Let me tell you Good a story. Here. But anyway, thanks. Good to see you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here with Chris, backcountry hunters and anglers. Go ahead and tell us a about himself. Yeah, I'm the uh, the regional manager for backcountry hunters and anglers, and we're a uh, organization of sportsmen and women in North America, the U.S. and Canada. And our main uh, our main mission is to keep public lands and public hands. What that means is uh, make sure that our public hunting and fishing spaces. In North America are kept open and accessible to people to hunt and fish and to make sure that there's good wildlife and fishing when we get there. And to uh, hold that, um, keep that together for you know, ourselves and for future generations. Yeah, so I signed up first, first time I've ever signed up at Compton here. So I'm pretty stoked to be a part of an organization. I hunt mostly public land, so it's kind of a good synergy for me because that's where I spend most of my time. Awesome organization, really excited to, to be a member. And 25 bucks for an into 35 bucks. For sign up. Yeah, thanks. Close together, you know. Getting set up to do some podcasting here, but we're going to close out this vlog. I'm going to get it edited and uploaded. So, Compton Traditional Bow Hunters, cool organization, check it out. And we'll be dropping a podcast here within the next couple days. So, stoked on it. We'll see you next time. Stay safe, shoot straight.